Hey there guys, what's up? Um, I just wanted to share a quick little video, uh, some of the things that I've experienced in the past, and I actually experienced some of the same things today, and it was totally a God thing, and so I just I just wanted to share this with you. It's, it's kind of a, you know how God works in mysterious ways, and when something bad happens, it's really God using that bad situation to do something better. Uh, anyway, there is something that happened way back in the day, uh, my last semester, I was working here at Pizza Hut in uh, in Bolivar, and uh, it was during the winter time, so it was like freezing cold. But uh, anyway, something really bad had happened, and I was like, "Why is this happening? You know, why why is this so? Why am I having to put up with this? You know, God, this doesn't make any sense." And uh, so I went to work, and I got off work, everything was good, and so I was walking out to my car to go to go back home. And at this time, you know, again, it's winter time, and so the ice was like freezing the doors shut. You know, everybody's having to scrape their windows and, and water down the sides of their door just to get it open. You know, it was cold. It was like dead of winter. And uh, so I went out there to get my car, and what do you know? I tried opening the door, and it wouldn't open. It's like, oh, the ice froze the door shut. So I'm irritated. You know, I've just had enough of the day. I'm just, it, I've had enough, and I'm getting mad at this door. I wasn't like, breaking things or anything like that. I was just irritated. So I trudged back into Pizza Hut to go get some, some hot water. And as I was trudging back to the store, I happened to look down, and keep in mind, it's dark. It is dark outside. You're not going to see nothing on the ground. I looked down. I happened to look down, and there were my car keys on the ground. And it was like, I'm supposed to drop my car keys. I never would have found those, even if I was looking for them. It was so weird, and I was like, thanks, God. I almost lost my car keys. So I picked up my car keys, went ahead back inside, grabbed some hot water, brought it back outside, poured it down the side of my door. And what do you know? The door still wouldn't open. And I'm like, what's wrong? And it finally flashed. The door was locked. <laughs> and uh, I was trying to get in the, the, the car when it was locked. I thought it was the ice, but it was, I felt so stupid. But anyway, as, as I pulled the keys out of my pocket, I realized, had I not believed that the ice had frozen my door shut with that bad situation, I never would have found my keys walking back to the store. It was totally God. I mean, it, and what God told me there, he told me right there at that moment, he said, look, Ezra, I'm solving your problems before you even realize they're there. And uh, it was just, it really hit me, and I know, I know that was God. And that's something I've really appreciated was... Um, with God, whenever I ask him, um, especially recently, when I ask him something, he's so quick to tell me. And I don't think I'm reading into things. And uh, the, the reason I'm re uh, recording this video, blah, blah, blah. The reason I'm recording this video is because the same thing happened today. Um, you know, um, I found out before I went to work that I didn't get the job that I was, you know, working so hard for. You know, I put so much effort into getting this job, made phone calls. Even friends of mine were trying to get me into this job. And... I get this email saying I didn't get the job. I was bummed out, and uh, I try to keep a good attitude about it and just, you know, stay, you know, good-minded about it. But bad day at work. I get back home. I'm just, again, I'm bummed, and uh, I see the trash needs to be taken out. So I'm like, okay, I'll take the trash out, you know, thing after thing. So I'm walking out with this big box and or all these boxes of pizzas because I eat pizza. Okay, a lot of leftover pizza. And as I'm like. Going up to the dumpster, I'm like pushing it over into the dumpster, and I happen to drop a pizza box, and it like breaks and spills all over the ground. And I'm like, oh, when are the bad things going to stop? You know, I'm just, you know, almost about in tears. And I look down, and there was a piece of silverware that belonged to the apartment in that box that broke open. Okay, so here I am. I'm getting so irritated that I dropped this box, and there's pizza spilling out all over the ground. Now let's pick it up. There's silverware in the box. I never would have known that silverware was there had I not dropped it. And again, God was like, look, Ezra, I'm going to tell you this again. I'm solving your problems before you even know they exist. <laughs> and uh, he's using irritating situations, or what seem irritating to me, to solve them. And uh, he told me right before I came to Balver, he's like, I got you covered. Just listen to my will. Just listen to my words, and it's going to be okay. And, you know, here I am. I'm trying to solve my own problems, you know, financially and all that stuff. But uh, anyway, I still do need a job, but I know that God's going to provide. 
And uh, actually, when I got home, I found a message on my computer, and my old roommate, he's in charge of, yes, a lot of SBU stuff there, and he said, hey, I want you to do a wrap at SBU, and I, I want to pay you to do it. And uh, that's going to be taking care of a lot of other financial stuff. So I'm feeling pretty good. You know, I, I just like, I know that God is looking out for me, and it's just comforting. So I just wanted to share those experiences. Uh, I had never shared those before. I think I shared the first one on uh, Facebook status, but those things are just not that easy to read. And Facebook, <laughs> Facebook communication is so dumb. Like, it is so surfaced, and it doesn't work. But anyway, I'll stop talking. Hope you guys have a great night, and uh, thanks for watching. And please share if this was inspiring to you.